In this video, what I want to do is show you these really cheap accessories that you can get, put in a bag, and it will make a big difference to your photography over autumn and winter. Oh, fantastic to see you all again. So we're getting to that time of year which is just so exciting for photographers and that's autumn and winter. So I thought it'd be a really good time to talk you through what's in this magical black case of mine. So these are accessories that I take with me and are especially important around the sort of autumn and winter time when the weather's maybe a little bit worse, um, but they're not just about weather, they're not just about uh, potentially raining, they're just other things that I use and really help my photography out and an apple as well okay so let's see what we've got in here i try and fit everything in here and i'm going to go through them one at a time not going to spend a huge amount of time on them and i'll just explain why i have these particular things so the first thing is a micro fiber cloth so the other thing i'd say about these is they just stay in this bag all the time apart from a couple of exceptions that i'll talk to you about so this microfiber cloth is so useful especially when it rains and you just want to sort of dry your camera off um, I also use it for cleaning my lens as well. Uh, you've got to be careful with that. You don't want to rub any dirt on your lens, but lens surfaces are, tend to be fairly tough. That is just something I cannot do without. It comes in to its own so many times. So that's my microfiber cloth. I've now got a torch. So, so this is a super bright torch. It is um, a Olight H2R Nova and it's so good and it's basically, I can hand hold it like this or I can put it on my head like that and it's just so good when I'm hiking up at sunrise or if it gets really dark towards the end of the day and I just want to have a torch. So it's, it's a bit of a safety thing as well. I, I do have a separate safety kit, but I do keep this torch in here all the time. So that's my torch. So I have a blower. So this is really useful when I just want to blow off um, the lens and get the dirt away from the lens or sometimes when I'm changing lenses what I tend to do is I clean this bit of the lens before I put it on to reduce the amount of dust that I might get on my sensor so a blower is so important it's so useful and also if you really stuck and you do get some um, dust on your sensor and I spoke in, in the video a couple of weeks ago I spoke about sensor dust then you can just turn your camera upside down and just blow and try and remove some of that dust as well so really really useful uh, and the links for all these are in the description below so if you if you want to know about any of them just whilst we're talking about cleaning and uh, cleaning lenses then I also have some wipes um, so these are just alcohol wipes by Zeiss um, there's lots of other wipes available. Uh, I, I don't tend to use these a huge amount. These are really in an emergency. Maybe if I put my finger on the lens or I've got some oil on the lens. I don't really like to use these because I don't like to use disposable things. I'd rather use something that I can wash and use again. You know, it's better for the environment. But I do have some of those in my bag just in case I need them. Um, and I need to wipe my lens because it's got maybe some mud on or some oily substance on. So I've also got a whistle. So... Uh, Again, I've got another whistle in my safety bag, but I always like to have two whistles just in case anything um, happens to me when I'm out on my own. I think it's really useful to be able to, you know, just um, use. Now, if I'm with Pebbles, then, you know, she does lots of tricks as well when I, I think I've got her to stop when I do this. So whistle is useful as a safety thing, and I have two of them, one in this bag and one in my safety bag. Okay, so the next thing I have is hand warmers, but the reason I have hand warmers isn't really to warm my hand. The reason I have hand warmers is if I'm at the end of my battery life and it often gets cold in the winter, obviously, then I find that it's a really good idea to break up one of these reusable hand warmers, put it in my pocket with my battery, and it'll just it'll just extend the length of the battery a little bit more. So this is an emergency thing really, but it's super small and it's dead easy to put in there. The reason it's got an owl in it's my daughter, so don't tell her I, I, I stole it. I've also got some disposable um, hand warmers as well, just in case I use that and I need another one. Again, I hardly ever use these, they're just there in case of an emergency. I have a brush, um, so I have this lens pen brush. I don't ever use the this bit of it, I only ever use 
this bit of it. And again, that's just if I want to just get away some dirt and I, you know, I usually blow it, but if, 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 if I want to get away some dirt really quickly, then I can use this brush. So that is really, really useful. And I'll come on to that one. So in here, I've got a, a little multi-purpose tool kit. Um, I think this is one from my bike that I had um, because my other one broke. Um, but it's got all the Allen keys that I need. And somebody's gonna be watching this. It was on a workshop recently and comment that I had to borrow their Allen key. So I'd forgotten this. So before you do that, Steve, I have got it now. It's in the, the special bag. So I have now got my special tool kit for you know whenever I might need it. Sometimes I, I might want to tighten the legs on my tripod. I want to, I, I might want to take off the L bracket on my camera for some reason. It's just always useful to have. So again, it's super small, fits in this bag. And then I also have this for protecting my camera when it's rainy. So when it's raining, um, I'm not too bothered about my camera getting a bit wet, but you know, some 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 of you might not have a waterproof camera or you know, better still, you might just want to protect your camera. So you can just stick this over your camera really easily and then when it rains, it'll just protect it. So again, it weighs nothing, takes no room up, you can just stick it in there, it's just um, a shower cap. So that, that's pretty good. So just going along with this and rain, make sure you take your lens hood. I hardly ever use a lens hood for sun because I just use my hand to shield the sun, but I always use them when it's raining because if you put this on your lens, and it rains, then it protects the surface of the actual lens from the rain. Now, obviously, if you've got driving rain right into your camera, then it's not gonna do as good a job, but 90% of the time, it means that you're not having to use this to dry your, 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 your camera lens all the time. For me, as a videographer as well, it's just invaluable that. It, it makes such a big difference. So again, it's super light, just stick it in. And then the final thing I've got in here is a Peak Design, um, capture bracket and that fits on my strap on my camera bag. Now quite often I've got two cameras because I'll probably have one with a wide angle lens and one with a long lens on or I'll have a video camera and a stills camera. So it means that I can just clip it on and have um, a hand free and it's super easy to clip clip on and off. So you know I, I always have a spare one of those as well that I keep in here just in case I lose it or it falls off or I need another one on my belt or something like that. So I didn't quite finish the video when I was back in the studio. I'm now out on a beautiful, beautiful evening actually recording um, next week's video. So take a look at that. Before I go though, I want to tell you the links are in the description and I've got an amazing giveaway. So Peak Design have sent me a strap and a capture clip and all you need to do to win it is comment below what you think are the best accessories. So, you know, what have you found really useful and we can get a really useful resource in the comments. Like the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll pick one of the comments in the next couple of weeks and I'll send them um, to you anywhere in the world. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching and until Sunday, when I'm back here, actually. Bye.